Hi there, my name's Chloe Henderson and welcome to my world of art. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the creation of my brand new logo. If you watched my goals video and my plans for 2021, you might remember that this year is my year of making my business so much better and basically rebranding myself and starting again. I'm finally taking myself serious as an artist and I'm trying to make my small business work. So the first step for that is rebranding myself and giving myself a fantastic new logo. Now, I quite liked my old logo. I liked the basic design of it, but I've always had this little feeling at the back of my head that I know that I could have done better. So today I sat down at my desk, took my old logo and some of the designs that I did before. I've got a whole little folder of all the little random designs that I put together when I was initially drawing this. I looked through them all and I did a bunch of sketches and just decided what I wanted to do. I sort of had a quite a clear idea in my head already, but I still wanted to give myself that chance to just research the logos that I'd done before and make sure that I was doing exactly what I wanted and, and trying to make sure that this time I was completely satisfied with the drawing that I did. I knew straight away that I wanted my logo to be completely hand drawn because that's really in keeping with the rest of my business and the rest of my artwork in general. Everything I do is handmade and that's really important to me so it was important that this logo was hand drawn as well. I also knew that I wanted to draw it in inks and I wanted it to be in black and white because again that's in keeping with my style. The bubble pattern that I've used along with the circles themselves and that, along with my signature, are the basics of what makes Chloe Henderson, Chloe Henderson. So this logo is very much a good representation of me and everything that my drawings are. Handmade, black and white, drawn with inks and with perfect imperfections. I felt like drawing my logo or redrawing my logo and rebranding myself was a good start to me overhauling my business. It's the fresh new start that I need and I hope just settling into this drawing is going to be the perfect way to kickstart my small business and get it out there into the world. Now I have a good image of myself. So I'm doing a little bit of a digital overhaul as soon as I finished recording this audio and finishing off this little time lapse video. I'm going to be going onto my websites and my social and swapping out the old logo for the new and tidying up bits and pieces as I go along. I like to sit down every six months or so and just tidy up my socials and tidy up my website. Things sort of get left behind and there's <laughs> random little bits of dust in the corners of my website that I always want to clear off at some point. And it's good to sit down and just go through things and make sure everything's exactly as I want it to be and exactly as I want to be represented on my online little art world. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. And then tomorrow I'm going to sit down at my desk again and I'm going to design some of the physical image of my business. So I'll be designing little business cards and little thank you cards to go in with my orders, as well as designing certificates of authenticity for my original art pieces and stickers and maybe washi tape if I can find it. Just some nice little physical packaging things that I can get to make my orders look really awesome. So today is the digital overhaul and then tomorrow is the physical overhaul. I'm really pleased with this logo redraw. I liked my logo before, I liked the basic design of it, and I always knew that I could do better, so this is better. This is exactly what I wanted my logo to look like. But I'm keen to hear from you guys. What do you think of it? Do you think I did a good job? Do you think it's better than my old logo? Do you think it represents me as an artist? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of my new logo. As I'm recording this audio, I'm looking out the window and it's very, very snowy out there and looks very cold. And I'm just thinking that I had planned to go to the beach this weekend with my current stock of products and take lots of lovely product photography at the beach. But looking at the snow, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. <laughs> but hopefully soon I'll be able to get out to the beach and take lots of pictures. And I'm really looking forward to that and excited to take lots of cool photos as it means I'm going to be able to stock all of the products that I've got at the moment into my store. So do stay tuned for that, there's going to be a lot of products and awesome art things coming to my store very soon. And as soon as I've taken pictures of the current stock that I have, it leaves way for me to create lots of exciting new things. Which I'll be kicking off on Valentine's Day. So do stay tuned for an awesome Valentine collection coming out soon. 
but you'll just have to hit that subscribe button to see what that surprise is going to end up being. Until then, stay creative, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!